Hey guys, uh, this is Tony at McMahon again. Uh, today I wanted to talk about uh, some popular alternator uh, names they're called, I guess. Um, old school guys uh, know these as a uh, you know, large case, small case uh, style alternator. So what I want to do is when we, when we tell you that, that your vehicle is only able to handle a small case alternator instead of a large case, I think a lot of people just kind of bigger is better um, kind of situation so um, I'll, what I want to do I'll try to talk real quick on this I don't want to dwell on it because there's really when it comes to numbers it's numbers or numbers or facts or facts so um, this of course is my truck um, the billet alternator this is going to be what we call the large case uh, style alternator so uh, we do have small case billets, but they're not like that. Uh, I'm trying to get it to where we can make them look similar because it really looks good. I really like that. So, But these two alternators in front of me, uh, they will fit this vehicle. I could literally take this billet 400 off, put this 250 on it, and it worked just fine. Um, I would need to put the factory belt back on it because this pulley's bigger, but the bolts line up, everything, just plug it in, it's good to go. I could also do the same thing with this 240 unit. Uh, this is what we call the small case, small case alternator. And you can see the bolt holes, they line up, everything's good, the pulley offset, six rib, does have the smaller pulley though. So, and again, I could put this on there as well, but it would not be an ideal situation for this type of vehicle. Um, the small case alternator, they're, the, the main thing is these do not make as much amperage at low RPM or idle as a similar large case. Now even though these are just 10 or so amps apart, um, you can physically see one, one is bigger. Um, <clears throat> the main difference. Uh, the easiest way I know to spot these, uh, these three little ribs right here, if it's got three, that's going to be your small case. And if it's got four ribs anywhere on here, it doesn't matter, just you'll see them, that's going to be your large case. So with that out of the way, I don't want to drop an alternator. Um, this small case, this is like for your GM uh, truck race car universal applications it's got the same i think it's five and 15 30 seconds bolt spacing um i'll have the data later on that it's it's on the website of course but um this one here this is again is a two uh we list this one as a 240 amp um dyno tag on this one is showing me 255 and the uh, industry standard uh, standard idle we've got it right at 119 so it, 120 amps at idle from this thing you know that's more than what came factory on this thing at max effort so um, solid performer um, but if you need that down low amperage like like your car audio guys come to mind on that um, this large case is a 250 so it starts out with 10 more amps uh, just listed, but this one does just over 200 at idle and does 281 at full tilt or eight, 1800 cruise speed. Um, you know, that's massive. This thing, if you're wanting power, the large case is where to go. Uh, where I would put a large case would be any full size GM truck uh, application with car audio. Uh, a plow, uh, a, you know, just work attachments, just anything like that. Um, <clears throat> I've got one of these on a Jeep that I have that's got a Chevy 350 in it, and this is the exact one I have on it. Um, I wanted this one because it has those uh, idle RPMs, so when you're winching somebody that's upside down or you got a wheel broke off, you're getting 200 full amps for that winch that's going to be drawn about 500 plus on initial hit. And when you're on that thing, you got to be able to fill those batteries back up because that winch will kill, absolutely kill a battery in no time. And then you're stuck. You got your buddy stuck in the woods, upside down where the wheel broke off, and then your rig is sitting there, uh, you know, with dead battery or burnt cables or 
then you're having to use the broke rig to jump your rig off to get it going again it's terrible and it's usually raining when that happens um, so again this would be like for your off-road applications where idle is crucial idle amperage is crucial um, off-road uh, car stereo parking lot pound uh, you know be great for that back over to the small case the small case is going to be beneficial if you have some areas that you need to get this into like maybe you have a motor swap or something going on where there's you know turbo piping or um, a frame rail or just just something in the way this one is dimensionally smaller um, you know a little bit here and there it's one of those things where just a little bit of difference makes all the world uh, makes makes the difference in getting it fitted into a location um, I even know some people that will mount them you know backwards this way so um, that right there is you know just another space is usually where you go to on this but that doesn't mean that it's just space um, these work great when you spin them up that's why it's got this smaller pulley and this one has the larger pulley the stock size pulley so what you can do on these small ones uh, the super has come to mind um, that's the first thing I think of small case and because you're gonna have RPM on that thing you're gonna have six seven eight thousand nine thousand RPM I did one yesterday that 9500 I believe 9500 RPMs in a Supra and uh, you know that's where you, you don't care about the idle speed or the idle amperage because you're idling a little bit it's gonna charge um, you know crank pulley size all that being equal um, but when this thing's at, say a drift car say you're in a drift car uh, a super a drift car or even you know something with an LS motor in it that's a drift car that drift car is gonna spend its life at 5,000 plus so it doesn't really matter you know about the the idle um, the idle output so one of these will be, uh, be perfect for that the only thing you run into with this is they're very sensitive to the pulley ratios so sometimes we'll email you or call you and ask you you know what's the diameter of your crank pulley uh, well we're using that to determine two to one two and a half to one three to one ratio uh, to, to make sure that we can get this to charge at idle this this one uh, the large case stuff is not as finicky but it's still important you still want to be turning you know if you have some ginormous crank pulley it's probably not going to charge that well um, whereas this one may not even charge at all and this is where you'll see on the website we even note on some of our small case ones um, uh, the corvette comes to mind the uh, c6 c7 corvette uh, we sell a 170 that bolts right in does everything it's supposed to do but we also make a 240 and we note on those uh, uh, 240s that it will not charge or charge better than factory at idle unless you can pull that idle up to 850 900 or so which you know if you have like a computer tuner or most people have a cam or whatever you can bump the timing or the uh, bump the uh, idle speed up and get that charge to it but it needs it needs that RPM to get going because it's a smaller case uh, and it's just more finicky on that uh, again it's not bad uh, this works perfect in the perfect environment there is no perfect alternator uh, you know it's uh, the coyote motor cars the Ford you know Mustangs uh, I know they use the small case uh, not this one but uh, small case style uh, 2011 to 2014 and then in 2015 uh, they switched over to the larger case uh, and I think it's mainly due to you know the computer is more powerful um, just a lot of stuff on there's more powerful so um, but just wanted to touch real quick I'm trying not to ramble too much uh, my truck really has nothing to do with any of this but it makes a cool shelf to put stuff and these are ones I have in stock so um, I didn't have an unpainted one I shipped that out this morning so I just grabbed the black one but uh, these are uh, essentially I mean you could swap these out with the billet swap the you know move it all around um, we can also um, on the smaller large case you'll see the output studs are different uh, well they're the same they're just in different locations um, we can't move the uh, regulator uh, 
to the back can't do that but we can clock these around like this one i think is found in our motor swap um actually i think i did put that one in there for the off-road guys um but if there's a problem with some weird bracketry you have or anything we can actually uh clock the back of these in four different ways this is one so you'll have three other options and we can also take the output stud and move it to the back like this so you know i, I know some people have like their valve covers um i know on my truck it's even kind of close but um you know but in when you get into motor swaps space is everything especially with these big motors uh turbo supercharger piping routing um you know you get down to a game of sometimes millimeters and you know, that's all you need so uh, small cases i mean it packs a punch um through we even make a 320 small case but you have to have the right pulley ratio to make that happen because again you have to have that rpm that 320 we really don't recommend in most cases with the small because of the low output uh, charge at idle whereas a lot of our customers just want something to put in the vehicle put a shorter belt on it and then just just run and forget about it um, the 320s you'll get that 320 once you start getting in cruising speed or even upper and uh, higher in rpms um, a lot of companies will be glad to sell you a uh, 320 350 uh, three I think I've even seen a 375 or something small case but once you hit 300 in these small cases you're you're kind of done you're just buying a number and we've actually when these came out we they were really close to the to the amperages you know 240s and 250s really close but just over the years we just found different things that work different methods assembly uh little parts um soldering techniques soldering wire uh just every little thing we've just slowly slowly made better uh better quality rotors um just everything we've constantly improved so instead of changing the part number you know on you know this 8237 240 this small case uh it's a 240 amp that's what we advertise it as um we didn't change the part number to 250 um we just you know amplifiers are overrated or underrated as it is and it's just changing part numbers it just doesn't work so you know getting 255 from a 240 is awesome and then once you get in big boy territory um what is this yeah 261 out of a out of a 250 um i've seen some of these in 265 70s and whatnot but you're two you know just over 200 amps at idle out of this beast is awesome and i can tell you this i've had one of these on my jeep for probably 10 years i haven't done anything to that thing and uh you you give it the right belt the belt grip the cable zero gauge on it ground it right and uh man i'm telling you it uh when you're winching somebody that is just absolutely stuck that thing's a freaking powerhouse and you know you see those nice uh big boy winches and you see people have those and you're like man that's well i've just got a little three four hundred dollar one and I'm telling you, it'll out pull those guys because I've got the voltage. They've got the nicer winch, but they don't have the foundation to use the nicer winch. So I'm, I've literally been pulling one with another person and I've had to actually stop pulling so they could catch up with their nicer winch. So um, just a few things to consider. I really hope this didn't ramble on too long, but, uh, but yeah, just wanted to talk about these two, uh, same alternators but they're not um same fitment but just different applications for different uses so um that's the main thing about it is you got to pick the right right application or the right piece for your application um you don't take snow tires to a drag strip and uh, pretty much along that same line uh, of, of thought there so all right guys again um small case good for like racing applications or high rpm usage uh large case good for low end grunt like big block stuff uh, and then just piles it on at the top so um, if you could fit a large case in there 
great. That's perfect. You'll get the best of both worlds. But if you got space uh, problems and you really just need high RPM output, small case will do it every time. So um, there's no durability difference. There's no nothing like that. It's just two different alternators that can do the same things just differently and excel either way. So uh, cool, guys. Um, again, it's Tony at McMahon confuse you at all on any of this you can always just email me tony at mcmahon.com um you know we'll go through and uh you know what you may have heard may be incorrect for your application and uh or you may have heard correctly it's uh we just want to educate the customer and not just sell them amperages because at the end of the day it's it's just a number um you have to pick what's best for your needs so uh, cool guys um, all right, uh, that's it. Uh, I'm going to go to lunch.